Hey, Paul here with a quick tip about how to set up Dante routing. So what we have here is a small Dante network that comprises of an 8N rack digital wireless system with Dante, a Scorpio and a MacBook Pro. And I'm going to basically be taking this digital transmitter and feeding that audio to four channels of receive. Those channels are going to be sent via Dante to channels one through four on my Scorpio. And then I'm also going to take four channels of audio playing back from Reaper on my MacBook Pro and route that to channels five through eight on my Scorpio, all via Dante. Now to do this, you're going to need two bits of software on your computer. Uh, one's called Dante Virtual Sound Card and the other one's called Dante Controller. And both are available on the Ordinate website. So you install those apps and then First of all, you open Dante Virtual Sound Card, and here you can choose how your computer will appear on the Dante network and how many inputs and outputs it has. In this case, I've set it to be a 16 by 16, but you can also set it to other combinations of 32 by 32, 8 by 8, 4 by 4, what have you. You can set the latency and choose your network interface, but when you're ready, you simply hit this button in the bottom right hand corner and set that to start. It's already rolling here. As soon as you start, Dante Virtual Sound Card, the MacBook Pro will then appear in the Dante network. And you can see that by opening Dante Controller here and navigating to the routing tab. Here it lists all the Dante transmitters, which are devices that send audio, and Dante receivers, devices that receive audio. Now in this case, I want to route from my A10 and the MacBook to my Scorpio. So I'm just gonna open up these cross points just here. And you can see that I've already routed um, channel one and through four to channels one through four on my Scorpio, just by clicking in, the, in this matrix down here. And I've also set channels one through four from my MacBook via Dante Virtual Sound Card to channels five through eight on my Scorpio. Once I've set that up, it's very important to ensure that your audio MIDI setup on a Mac um, and whatever control in other, any other computer is set up correctly to use Dante Virtual Sound Card as its interface. Um, on a Mac, you simply scroll to Dante Virtual Sound Card, select it, and then by clicking on this star here, you select use this device for sound input and use this device for sound output. Once you've done that, you're pretty much ready to go. And here's a, a Reaper session, which I've already created with four tracks of audio. Let's come back here. And I'm just gonna hit playback now and you can see the audio playing. Let's now take a look at the Scorpio. Now if we come over to our Scorpio here, you can see that I've got the four channels of uh, audio from my 18 rack on one through four. And I've got the four playback channels from Reaper here. So. It's important, the important thing to remember on the Scorpio is how to select your Dante. So you go to each um, channel by flicking on the PFL switch, and then you go to the input routing screen, and then you scroll through and select Dante 1 in this case, channel 2, Dante is set to Dante 2 already, and you keep scrolling through to make sure you've got those channels selected. Now you can take any of these Dante channels being received and actually route them to any channel in any order you like. So you have some great flexibility there. Anyway, that's how you do it. It's pretty simple. And once you're set up, you're, you don't need, you can save this as a setup and you won't need Dante controller again to reconfigure the routing. The A10, the Scorpio and the MacBook will remember their routing. So it's easy to get set up and going again.